Hello everybody, it's Anna, the Swedish Orchid Hoarder here, doing my first spring uh, orchid haul from Schroeter. See? Well packaged, bubble wrap, hasn't been that cold in Sweden, see? Everything looks nice and dry, let's start. Here we have a new type of orchid that I haven't tried before. So for 90s, Itikiana uh, Rosea, uh, this is 18 months from blooming, it's uh, supposed to be um, a relative of Cattleya's, so, but it's all so like different things, humidity and not so much light so it's a bit of a gamble if it uh, wasn't that expensive so keep the label See here i'm expecting something very small Oh wow, <laughs> and I was right. Um, so 18 months from flowering, and um, but it looks nice. It has a new growth there, new roots and root tips, and uh, it looks looks fine it looks good very good um so i think i will be putting this in a uh, on a, some moss in a terracotta pot to keep up the humidity and uh, so on um because i'm not sure i will be able to water it enough if you have any experience with Sophronitis. I would love to, for, to hear how are you getting on with them. All right. So a good one, a small, sorry, small but good one. Moving on to my favorite type of orchids. The, we have most of us have them have the most of I presume this is beer king with beer king um, I wanted to try more of these type of orchids that's shiny leaved orchids see has two spikes on it so it's flower size and that is the way I bought it as um, let's see here uh, lots of roots uh, might need a repot um, but otherwise 
I think it looks super. Five leaves, two flower spike, one flower spike that has bloomed, that will bloom again, and a new one. No, I think this is one is perfect. Let's find the labels so I don't get them confused. Very happy with that one. Put that in the background here. Uh, take the next one. And this is Val Mopsis Tying Shin Shine Fly Eagle. I had one. Uh, there were Bear King and Flying Eagle combined. They that that one got some weird disease that I had to throw it away. So that's why I wanted some new ones to give them a chance. I have a Falmatis Violet. They were that's doing very well. And it's a bit new to these other. I have a, a Bellina as well. It's doing well, I think. It has flower spikes. See here. This also have a flower spike. Let's get rid of these. Uh, put in this bag so it's rather moist. It's in, in very, very wet sphagnum. I will change it to bark because I don't do well with sphagnum for some reason but this one also looks healthy a little bit uh, spots from what the water that's been splashed on but that's no problem nice spike new root coming plenty of leaves plenty of new roots it looks looks very nice. I might do a mix between um, sphagnum and and some bark for this one. I do that perhaps for every one of them. Hmm. Anyway, so that one was just so tying shin fly eagle. Dragon Girl Princess Violet. This one I had to throw in in the last minute because they were out of another file I wanted. Um, I've forgotten what this was called. Something Merly. Oh, oh yeah. So. I will have to come back to you if they come up with some beautiful flowers. I will be at Lucky this summer. Oh, it has a flower. It has a flower. Oh, wow. That was not expecting that. Oh, wow. wow, wow. Um, so this was Hawaii Dragon Girl. Uh, Princess Violet. 
Now I have to pick you up here. Look at all the, the roots. And the leaves looks fine. Let's see here. Here we have the flower. Absolutely fantastic. See if I can get a little closer. I'm just going to take a little sniff here. I have to say the fragrance. I can tell yet. Something citrusy, maybe. So very pretty and in flower. So it was a great replacement for the one I didn't they were out of stock of. Lots of aerial roots and it's in sphagnum moss with a lot of beautiful roots. So this one was really nice. So put it down gently. Release it. Um, very, very wet sphagnum. So I hope it hasn't been too frosty on its way from Germany. But it has been uh, at least five uh, Celsius. So uh, during the night, so it should be okay. Uh, this one is super soggy. So it needs a bit of change. But otherwise, super nice. Hopefully it will be all right. Let's get the label. And put it in there. And let's see the nice side out. If it doesn't fall over, it will fall over. So we have to have a less nice side. Uh, the last one oh, was a heat pack as well. That's all right. I appreciate that. Without paying extra on anything, that's nice and generous. myself from buying Catalea, Leglia type of uh, orchids. I, in each and every order I make, I always have a Catalea or, 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 um, or a relative to Catalea. This one has a very unique, to me, unique setup. Um, so it's one moment here. Um, so it's I should get your label here if I can get it. Oh, there you go. Now, let's see here. It's a ring. Cobrasuelea, the Acari Conture, um, pinkish lip and orange sepals, or I just uh, I think so. Um, quite cool. Um, but the setup is, excuse me, language is weird. So it's in a Classic pot, all right, and in a basket that I would deem to be for uh, bandas, and then put on a mount. These mounts, but um, 
I, I will most certainly pot it up one way or another. But um, it looks okay. All right, it looks fantastic. Um, flower size. Some new roots. Big new growth. So, well, that's almost all for today. The only thing I have left that is not that exciting, but something new for me. Um, let's see here. Well, I bought a humongous, <laughs> humongous bottle of Calmag, because I haven't been able to get Calmag for oh, ages. So I bought a big one. And to my happiness is a. I found some some um uh what's it called it's not called algae it's um it's um seaweed that was the word i was looking for some sort of seaweed i'm thinking of using one of my orchids i don't know otherwise i can use it on my strawberries uh or my tomatoes we'll see I have to do some more research, I suspect. Oh, well, that was all for today. Let's look at the Hawaii once more, if I can get in there. There you are. I wish you a, a nice day, and I hope we we'll see you soon. Hey da! Uh, let's knock more than one.